Hello people and welcome to this new class in where we are going to see another plugin, the one called Frido6 Animator. It is this one. The developer, of course, is Frido6, so you will need to download it from the Sketchucation library and it will allow us to make animations in a more sophisticated way than the ones that we can do using the scenes. So let's see how this plugin works. I will use this model about the Egypt's pyramids. This model is attached with a course, so you can try to replicate the animation that we will do here together. It will be simple because the plugin is a little bit complex, so it is better to start with an animation not very, very difficult. But as you can see, here we have a lot of elements and the animation could be, let's say, super intricate. But as I told you, we'll use just the three pyramids and the rest of the things will remain still. So first of all, we have to hit this first option, animator, and then these toolbars will appear. We have on the left side, a timeline and here different options. I want you to focus just on these two ones, the blue one and the green one. The blue one is for insert a new movement and the second one is for using a new camera. Then here we have this option, play the clip animation. And here we have the speed of that animation. With those elements, we can do amazing things. But before starting our animation, we have to be aware of the fact that we have to prepare our model, placing the things that we are gonna move in the correct starting spot. So I'll go out of the plugin exit tool. And if we are gonna move just the three pyramids, the Khufu pyramid, the Kefren pyramid, and Menkerao pyramid, then we have to place the three of them at the starting position. So I will select all of them and I will move them along the blue axis. Distance, let's say 1000 meters. Why so high? Because I don't want them to appear on the camera view in the beginning of our animation. I want them to fall down from that up position to the ground. And I should remember that high, 1000 meters. Once this step is done, I can go to the plugin. So one click and time for using the option for inserting a unit movement in the timeline. I click on this blue option, new movement. Then I have to orbit and look for the element that I want to move. Let's say this pyramid. One click on the pyramid and then I have different options to select. I can select that component which is inside the main group or I can select the main group with all the geometry together. This is the one that I want to select. So one click, the element is already selected and then I have to select the kind of movement that I want to do. I have different options. I have this first option called translation. This is the one actually that we want to use, but we have a screw, we have rotation, we have spin, we have scaling, we have explosion, we have path, and we have apparition. So as you can see, we can make amazing things here. Let's choose translation. One click on translation, then we have to select the direction of that translation. We want to move our pyramid along the set axis. So one click on here. Then I hover over the canvas and I will click on any point. First point, for example, here, I select the direction of our movement and I will type in the correct offset. And then remember, 1000 meters, enter. Here we have our first movement. If I want a preview, I have just to click on here, play animation for the sequence and I can see my preview. Once I am happy, then let's click on here and this blue bar will appear on my timeline with this panel on the right side. Thanks to this panel, I will be able to modify that animation. I can change even the name. Let's call it Kufu 
like the name of this pyramid. Okay, I can change the duration and I have here an interesting option, this easing. Now the easing mode is linear, but I have different easing options. I invite you to explore all of them. For this animation, I will keep linear easing, but sometimes it can be, let's say, a good effect to use different easings. So time to jump to the second movement. Then we'll have to go again over this option, insert a unit movement, one click, and we hit on new movement. Again, we have to repeat the same process. We select the element that we want to move, this time this second pyramid, one click. Then we have different components inside the main group, but we want to move all the group together. So one click on here, translation, set axis. One click on any point, we choose the correct direction and we set the offset, 1000 again. Let's preview this second movement. It seems that everything is okay. I can change the name from here as well. One click and let's call it Kefren as the name of this second pyramid. When we are happy, we save the sequence and exit. That new animation is here at the end of the first one. We have on the right side again a resume of that animation. And if we want to preview the whole animation together, we can go over here and one click. First one, second one, and everything seems to be okay. Let's go with the third one. So new movement. We select this third pyramid, one click, all the group together, translation, set axis, one click and offset 1000. Name of this animation, Menkerau. Okay, save the sequence and exit. The new animation is here. So let's see the three of them all together, but this time from another point of view. So be careful because if you zoom in, if you zoom out, maybe it's not working like in the normal way. So we have to use a SketchUp zoom tool. And when we are done with the tool, this window pops up and says temporary exit to SketchUp. The plugin is asking us if we want to return to the normal SketchUp view or we want to still work inside the animation. So we don't want to exit and we have to say no. Let's have a preview about the whole animation. First pyramid, second pyramid, third pyramid. Everything works fine. Just I would like to let you know that you can change the position of any animation and imagine that you want the third one and the second one go down together. Then I should move while I am holding down the left button this animation and place it just next to this one for example. And here we are. Be careful because when I select an animation, for example this one, Menkerau, when I move it, if I move too much to the right side, I can read disable and then the animation will not work. I have to move closer to the animation, then I can read start time, I release left button and here we are. So you can play with the position of any animation once they are already recorded. That is interesting. Anyways, I want Menkerau to be the last one as it was set in the beginning. So the first one will be Kufu, the second one will be Kefren and the third one will be Menkerau. High time now to learn about another tool of this plugin. This second option called insert a camera in the timeline. Look that now I have in my timeline, this red line exactly at the fourth second. If I hit the tool, insert a camera in the timeline, new camera, then this toolbar will pop up. I have different options for setting that camera, but I think that the easiest is this one, capture current view camera. This works exactly the same as the scenes. So I have just to orbit, use the eye tool in order to be happy with my camera view. Let's say for example, that the first one will be this one. Once I am happy, I say no, because I want to remain inside the plugin. Click capture 
current view camera and I hit save the sequence and exit. Then look that this icon representing the camera view is now here in the fourth second of my timeline and I have another panel summing up the features of that camera. So now I can select this camera and place it, for example, in the beginning. Let's say here, 0.00 seconds. I release. I have my camera now in that position. And when I click on play the clip animation to have a preview, the camera goes to that point. The interesting thing here is that I can create another camera, new camera. I will orbit around my pyramids let's say till here capture current view camera save and then my new camera is positioned here at the end of the animation if i hit the preview then we can see how the camera goes from that first camera view position to the next one like it happened with the scenes nothing new here if i consider that everything goes so fast we can make the animation goes slower easily i can say that i want this first animation called kufu and i want the duration of that animation let's say four seconds the same with the second one four seconds and the same with the third one four seconds then I have to sort out all the blue bars. This first one is Khufu, the second one will be Kefren at the end of Khufu, and the third one will be Menkerao at the end of Kefren. Look that the cameras remains in their position. I will change the position of the camera, the second camera. So let's play this second camera here at the end of the animation. And again, let's have a preview. Now everything looks much more better. So once we are happy and we want to export our animation, we should go over this option. Generation of video. Let's name it as pyramid video. And then we have different export options. By default, the plugin will export our animation as a images sequence. So we will need a video edition software later in order to create that video. Anyways, the plugin give us this option to export the animation already in a video format. But first we have to click on here. Once you have download and installed that little software that it is needed in order to have these options, you can select MP4 not move, just MP4. The frame rate 25 frames per second is okay. Speed factor 1.0 is okay. The dimensions of our animation could be changed here. These are pixels. So maybe here we can say 1920 and the high is coming automatically. And finally, generate video. It will take some time depending on the power of your computer. Once the render of the video is done, and it took some time, around 20 minutes, in my case, I have here the mp4 file, I have just to open it, and we can check the result. As you can see, thanks to this plugin, we can do amazing things. This is just a simple example. So I invite you to use it and don't hesitate if you have any doubt to leave a comment and I will respond you as soon as possible. I hope that you liked the video and I'll see you in the next episode.